pianists tend to focus on the material they are playing in their right hands, leaving their left hand material secondary, or even neglected altogether. This is understandable, in that we tend to play melodies, long eighth note lines, and more apparently difficult material in our right hands. Understandable, yes, but definitely not excusable. Because behind the scenes, it's usually the left hand, or secondary material, that really gives our playing its overall rhythmic feel. We could be playing the most technically advanced lines in our right hands, with perfect rhythmic clarity. But if our left hand is not supporting them effectively and consciously, our overall sound will be unclear and ineffective. Similarly, we can get away with almost anything in our right hands if our left hand is truly contributing and supportive. To demonstrate the transformative power of the left hand, let's take the classic tune Misty. The melody of the A section is playing in the background now. This is a simple version of the melody with no embellishments at an apparently slow tempo. Throughout this exercise, this melody will remain exactly like this, and we'll be changing only the left hand. First, this is a basic ballad feel for the left hand. This is probably the rhythmic feel that you'd first expect behind the melody at this tempo. Basically a quarter note feel with standard familiar voicings. Now we're hearing a slow swing feel behind the melody. The left hand is not as sustained as it was before, and is now subdividing in swung eighths or triplets. Notice how the melody is still played in straight eighths, but the overall feeling is swinging because of the difference of feel in the left hand alone. This is more of a floaty, impressionistic texture, a different variety within the ballad category. These wide arpeggios are being connected with the pedal, and also the E-flat pedal point is framing the harmony in a different way. Now with a more active left hand, dividing the pulse and triplets, we're able to transform the whole feel from a ballad into a bright waltz. The melody is being played identically as in the ballad. Only the different left hand feel has enabled this transformation. Now back to the original quarter note. This is a general straight eighths feel. To create this feel, the left hand is more active at the 16th note level against the downbeat-oriented rhythms of the melody. For one last example, now we're hearing a very up-tempo swing feel. It's amazing how the energy of this feel can come entirely from the left hand, and really no eighth notes are required. It has more to do with a careful control of the subdivisions and a coordinated play between upbeats and downbeats. Now we can clearly hear the transformative powers of our left hands. With this in mind, a top-down approach to piano playing is clearly limited. If we truly want to bring the piano to life, we're better off imagining the role of our left hands first and adopting a bottom-up approach to the instrument. A full PDF transcription of this video is available as a free download from glenzaleski.com blog. Check it out.